We will approach God in prayer, a prayer of adoration, a prayer of confession. Uh, but before we do that, uh, I invite you, if you're comfortable doing so, close your eyes, just take a deep breath. We all hold our breath far too much. Loving God, we gather in your son's name this day, united by your spirit to your followers throughout all time and space. It's amazing to remember and share that the stories that we hear about you today have transformed so many other lives for so many centuries. It's amazing to consider how lives not so very different from our own carried your love from one generation to another, from one church to another, from one community to another. As we join together in worship, open our eyes to new opportunities to express our love for you and to share your love in the lives that we touch. For we are your people and we praise God in your holy name. Week by week, O oh God, we open our lives before you, acknowledging ways we sometimes lose track of you. We are driven, and we feel busy, even overwhelmed. So we let other things come before you in our lives. Changes upend us, and we don't know where to turn. And so forgive us when we forget that you are with us day by day, in every breath that we take. Remind us, O oh God, to breathe, to breathe in your spirit of grace and justice and love and truth, and to breathe that grace and justice and love and truth out into the world around us. Renew us in your love, we pray. Amen. Church, we are forgiven, we are transformed, and the best part is we are always given another chance. We worship a God of second, third, fourth, fifth chances. And so go and live into your forgiveness today. In the strong name of Jesus, amen. <laughs> 